In doing counting problems, a tree diagram may be very helpful. And basically what a tree diagram is, is basically just a graph that represents all the possibilities for the problem at hand. Okay, so for example, we need to draw a tree diagram that gives us the possibilities for flipping three coins. Okay, so that's easy to draw. And I'll draw that out for you right now. Okay, so we'll start over here on the left. And then the first branch in our tree, our tree is going to be a horizontal tree instead of a vertical tree. We're going to flip the quarter. Okay, let's suppose we have a nickel, dime, and a quarter. It doesn't really matter what the coins are. They could all be the same or they could be different. Okay, and there's, of course, two possibilities when we flip a coin. Could be head or it could be tail. So we give each of the two possibilities. Okay, then next we're going to flip the nickel. And of course, for the nickel, there's also two possibilities. Head, tail. And the same possibilities when we have our other possibility for the quarter listed. And then finally we're going to flip the dime. Two more possibilities there. Okay, for each branch of the tree, we need to write the possibilities for the dime. And then uh, this is our completed tree diagram for the problem of flipping three coins. And we can see for each twig, each twig will give us the result for each coin. For example, at this twig here, we look back and we see dime is a tail, nickel is a tail, quarter is a head. 